in this video we are going to learn how to solve problems involving simple linear regression in scientific calculator especially in calcium fs cdpt graphical scientific calculator and after going through this video i guarantee you that you will be able to solve problems involving simple linear regression in scientific calculator especially in calcium fs cdpt graphical scientific calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions so ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video okay having done this let's get the calcium calculate now and go into the details of the video okay this is calcio fs cg50 graphical scientific calculator now the very first thing you have to do will be to reset the calculator the essence of resetting the calculator is to wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored on uh, the calculator so to quickly reset it all you have to do is to navigate to system using this navigation button but when you get here you press execute execute for this calculator stand for equal to uh, when you get a uh, press F5 to reset, then F6 for next page, then F2 to initialize all, then F1 and it will begin to initialize all as indicated here. Okay, it's done. Press exit. Now, the next thing we are going to do now will be to put the calculator in statistics mode. That's the mode we're going to work with. All right, now let's go to statistics. When you get a uh, press execute. All right, we're going to work with this one and this two. All right, so let's look at the problem and explain some things I've written down here. Now, the general formula for simple linear regression is given by this y equals beta base zero plus beta base one times x plus e, where e is the random error. The beta base zero is the intercept. The beta base one is the slope. All right, now note that this expression y equals a plus b s plus c the same thing as this first formula of it, beta base 0 plus beta base 1 times x plus e. Alright, there are some textbooks that use this one, y equals a plus b x plus c. Whereas there are some textbooks that use this one, beta base 0 plus beta base 1 times x plus e. So don't be confused, they both mean the same thing, depending on the textbook you are using or the examiner. Alright, having known this, let's go ahead and solve this problem. We have example cup of coffee, which is our x values, and number of mistakes, which is our y values, to be this and this. Now let's impute them serially. So we have for x values, we have them to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 okay whereas for the y values we have them to be 4 6 7 11 okay 15 11 12 okay 21 this is very interesting we have 9 and 32. Okay, now, once you are done imputing the values, we are good to go. The next thing we are going to do now will be to press CAC. Alright, F2. Now when you get here, since we are looking for simple linear regression, press F3 for regression. Alright, when you get here, there are various options. Since we are solving linear regression we're going to go with this x this x square is for quadratic regression this one is for cubic regression the s cube and the rest of them we also have if you want to solve exponential regression uh logarithmic regression and the rest of them all right so we're going to go with this one since what we have here is linear regression so we're going to press f1 okay and when you get here you have two options here this is the right option for this question the formula we're working with here is a plus bx all right so we're going to go for f2 and this will be the result of the answer so we have our a which is our intercept to be 1.4 and we have our b which is our slope to be 2.0727 and we have the correlation coefficient r to be this value 0 0.7563 and the rest of them so this is basically how you can solve problems involving simple linear regression with the calcium fsd50 
graphical scientific calculator in seconds. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. If you are new to the channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel from what you learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I will ensure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my subsequent video. So don't forget to be see once you are done, you have to do the press menu. Then navigate to system. All right, press execute. Now press F5 for receipts. Press F6 for next page. Press F2 to initialize or F1 and it will initialize all. So that's it. Thanks for watching. It's done. Press exit. Yeah.